triggers the same. Well, if you believe I fucking love science, they are. Years ago, they um, referenced a study that claimed that all sugars are the same. And that um, article contained a lot of. They made. It, they also had in the article uh, references a lot of in, other information that was over. And as a consequence of this, I don't know if it was an oversight or if it was deliberate, uh, or did it see what it was? But as a consequence of it, uh, I um, discontinued my membership in I Fucking Love Science, and I refuse to use them anymore. Um, so I have been watching a very interesting video on YouTube on the level, the level or levels. Hold on here. This is the level channel on YouTube. Titled Uric Acid, a key cause of weight gain, diabetes, heart disease, and dementia with Dr. David Perlmutter. And it's, it's, he's, he is being interviewed by the CEO of, of Levels, uh, which is levelshealth.com, uh, Dr. Casey Mean. Um, so <clears throat> this, um, this Dr. Perlmutter has been working on this for a long time, and he is an advisor for Levels Health. Um, and he's explaining not just the role of uric acid in these diseases, including also gout, um, but he's also talking about, um, I don't know why my tablet is freaking out. I've got a, I've got a, a phone on order. It should be coming in a couple of days. Um, but anyways. He is, he, in this video, and I recommend it uh, if you are scientifically inclined, it is a little bit technical. Well, it's, it's technical, so if you are not uh, good at understanding science, it's probably going to go over your head. But the point is, is that um, in it, he explains how the body deals with glucose and fructose. He explains about the relationship between diabetes and not and sugars, but also uric acid, and that you can get uric acid from purine, which is in meat, especially organs, <clears throat> as well as beer and other alcoholic beverages. But you can also get uric acid as a result of consuming fructose. So, you know, if somebody tells you all sugars are the same, they don't understand. They're not. I mean, even at the most basic level possible, we can easily uh, just prove that idea. So if we take white sugar versus brown sugar, well, they're the same thing, aren't they? Well, no. White sugar is a combination of glucose and fructose. It's called sucrose. Brown sugar may or may not be made of sucrose. But brown sugar has what white sugar doesn't. It has what some people would call impurities that have not been refined out of it. Things that provide not just color in some cases, but also provide nutrients and micronutrients that we need, minerals and vitamins and stuff like that. So the more we refine sugar to get whiter or clearer syrup or whatever, the fewer nutrients are going to be in it aside from the sugar content. So that's one obvious distinction. Now you can also compare white sugar to honey or agave syrup or uh, molasses or maple syrup or palm or coconut syrup or sorghum syrup or a number of other ones that have color and have a reduced amount of sweetness to them. And that is partially because of impurities that are actually vitamins and minerals. So no, not all uh, sugars are the same in terms of nutrients as well as flavor and color. But also, they're not the 
the same in terms of what your body does with them and how your body reacts with them. So, for example, if you eat sucrose, table sugar, you get, your body will convert that or separate the glucose and fructose. And from there, the liver will process the glucose and turn it into fat in your liver. And this is why you can have a high sugar diet and end up with the same symptoms as an alcoholic or somebody who's a heavy drinker. <clears throat> you can have um, fatty liver, you can end up with cirrhosis of the liver, and so on and so forth because of the amount of sugar you're consuming. And it's the glucose that's doing it. Now, glucose is stored in other parts of the body, um, such as in the um, skeletal muscles. These would be muscles that help to operate your body by being attached to your skeleton. <clears throat> and the, the production of uric acid in the body contributes strongly to a lot of different things, and this is coming at least in part from the fructose. So you want to have fructose in its natural form, which would be by eating fruit, fresh fruit, not the canned and, and bottled and and uh, jarred fruits that are in, uh, some kind of a heavy syrup or broth that contains a lot of fructose, um, but fresh, because when you eat a fresh fruit, you're getting the fruit, you're getting the fiber that it contains, you're getting the, all the micro and macronutrients that it contains, and as long as you're not going overboard on it, you should be okay. Now, here's an interesting thing that they, that studies have shown, and that is that if you, the more fruit you eat, the more you reduce your risk of death by diabetes and death by all causes, which is pretty fascinating. Well, you, you want to eat fruit, you just want to stay away from sugar. Now, if you really, if you have fructose intolerant, like I have, uh, I have, I'm lactose intolerant. But if you're fructose intolerant, you want to uh, obviously avoid uh, fructose corn syrup or high fructose corn syrup or any fructose syrup. You also want to avoid honey, agave syrup, invert sugar, maple flavors in maple syrup, molasses. Palm sugar, uh, coconut sugar, sorghum, etc., because those can say, contain, I would say, about 40 to 50 percent fructose in them. And again, you need to avoid the table sugar, uh, which is that a lot of sugar as well. So, again, sugar not, isn't all the same. How your body deals with it is the same either. If you want to talk about lactose to milk sugar, your body has to produce an enzyme called lactase in order to digest it. If it doesn't, it goes in down into your, your microbiome where all the bacteria live, and they digest it, and that produces gas and bloating and diarrhea, for example. <clears throat> and it can be really unpleasant. Believe me when I say that, because I'm almost 100% lactose intolerant. Now, this is different from... Uh, milk allergy, okay? Don't confuse the two things. Um, but the, the lactase, a lot of people, their bodies, as they get older, produce less or no lactase. And in fact, we weren't designed to consume dairy products our entire life. We were designed as babies. And not even, you know, even some babies don't produce lactase. I have uh, some cousins. Who could not consume uh, milk of any kind as babies because their bodies weren't producing lactose. So, if you are, uh, you know, if you know that after eating a lot of dairy, uh, especially like uh, milk and sour cream and cottage cheese, ricotta, mascarpone, um, queso blanco, um, ice cream, yogurt, if you notice after consuming those things, um, not, not so much yogurt, um, that you have got gas and bloating and maybe diarrhea, you probably are not producing enough lactose, or you may not be producing any lactose. If it, you, uh, even when you have a small amount of dairy products, you have these problems, 
you may be very highly lactose intolerant, like me. Um, now, if you want to find out, stop entirely consuming dairy products for at least two weeks to see if gas is building in the diarrhea or clear up. Be very careful, though, because uh, since the government has subsidized the dairy, um, there's dairy in a lot of things that don't need dairy. You don't need milk to make dairy. Um, Bread, for example, you don't need milk to make steak. There are lots of ways, lots of foods, I should say, don't require milk. But they're in them. And sometimes I see milk and stuff, and I'm like, why in the world is there milk in this? It doesn't make sense. Okay, so not, different sugars are processed differently in our body, they cause different things to happen. And so, in some people, can actually cause your body to go into, I guess you could say, um, a fat storage mode. Because amongst those people, they have a particular reaction to fructose, where they get a large amount of fructose, and their body thinks that it's the time of year when food is going to become scarce, and therefore it needs to save up lots and lots of fat. So if you're consuming fructose, in Inside of refined sugars, you're triggering this reaction. Now there are uh, some groups that are not exactly not really recommended for consumption of people in that in that situation. You would need to research which groups you should avoid if you are having problems with gaining weight after uh, consuming something that contains a lot of sugar. I hope that this information helps people. Um, I just learned about it, and uh, I think it's really interesting. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.